hello dear all students today we are going to learn about the a loader so exactly what is the meaning of loader if we go through the our syllables now see here there is a one problem statement is given about the css loader okay so see when we are going to use a loader in our actual working or any actual practice see sometimes we make a more than one web page and connect with each other right so we have to use a more than one pages and if we are clicking a sub one and then it is getting a time for loading for the few seconds so at that time there is a one image is show uh, like just see i am creating a one loader for the example like this if we are click on the something and the server is busy and then it's showing like that please wait for a uh, some time or please wait page is loading so we are going to create a this loader by the use of the animations uh, before starting a loader loader we are going through the animation chapter and with the use of that same animation properties we are just going to create a this one now see i have to use a uh, first of all our a favorite code editor that is a vs code to create a such type of loader then see loader is nothing but the it is the creation of uh, with the use of animation and the use of that loader is it's provide the alerts okay now see there are the various key examples are here in our syllabus or in our content so we are just going to create a simple loader like this now see what we have to do we have to take a first one a new file for creating a loader now i am taking a one new file a name with a loader 123 dot htm And I am saving this my a plan file in the loader folder. Now see what we have to do. We have to just take a first of all a one sentence that we need to pop up. मतलब क्या कि जब वो हमारा loader load करेगा तो उसके ऊपर एक message लिख के आएगा कि just we have to wait or just page is loading like that now see so first we have to add the all files here with the use of the symbols and now i am giving a title to my page is a loader now it is fine now our main work it start with the help of body so now i am just use a one a heading tag for display the message i am going to use h4 tag for displaying the message and my message is please wait page is loading now so, so fine our message or our heading is finished now it's time to work on the loader the loader means what we have just create a one body for the loader with the help of one due tag yes after this heading after this h1 i am just adding one view here with the class name some class name i am going to use here so my class name is here a load okay. now it's fine you don't need to add anything in that a uh, load class it's just a black just creation of the load class okay now after that what i have to do if i am going to run this program first of all i am just closing this my previous one 
and this is our new program and if i am just save it and going to run it for a uh, output then it will look like sir see here it look like sir that because we are only writing a h4 tag here we are not define anything in the div tag so that's why our h4 is working here properly now see what is the my next task my next task is for i have to give a css property to that h4 and also the that div tag so i am starting with the help of internal css with the use of what with the use of our style tag now i am writing my style tag in the head tag and writing a first of all for the our heading and our heading tag is h4 now i am declaring a h4 and it's time to write some css for the h4 tag now see i am not doing uh, so much here i am just adding the basic things so i just give a text a line so first one to the center this is my first css now now i would like to give a color property to my this sentence and i like to choose this blue color here so it's a fine now if i am run this my program again so it will look like so that now just see i am just see here my this heading is very near to our top margin so i am using here a top mar margin for maintaining the distance so we have to use a margin as a top and i am using here value in the format of percentage so here a 5% i will use and now see my heading is a below than the previous now it's a fine with my heading and i would like to add one more css that is a, a text shadow see here i am using a five a pixel for the every value like as a a darkness as a vertical space and as a horizontal space also so here are passing the three values and the last one is a color so i am a giving a green color for my shadow or suppose you just use a uh, any other color suppose i am using this green yellow color here you choose as you want and now see here a shadow is applied successfully now see now it will finish with the css for the h4 tag now it's turn to a next and that is our a class that is a load class so we all know that if we have to pass a value with the class then we are call this class with the help of the dot and now it's fine so it start to just return this right css for the our div class now see first of all i have to set a margin or the everything for my loader like a uh, this sentence i have to appear my this loader at the center of the page so my first css for the our loader class is a a line item in the center see where it is option at that now i am a fine with it now see after align center there is a no happening anything so why 
because we just not provide the anything or we are not provide the shapes or other thing to our class so it's start to one by one now see our next css i will start with the this i have to just add a one border okay as we add a chandra ring with the a nine pixel or if you want to take a value of your border size as a pen pixel it's a fine now we are just add the size of our border and then we also add the type of our border and my border type is a solid now now a third one we have to pass a one value with the color right so suppose i have to pass a value here a very light color now just see which one is the white a light color if i am adding this a white it's a totally white but i don't want to use that a white so i am using here a white instead of white and after saving just see here uh, my loader is appear here now see there is our border is available now we have to convert at our this border into the loader means what in the, the round shape so what we have to do you all knows that if we have to a curve or set of a border in the shape of circle or in the shape of oval so at that time we just adjust a border radius so now we are doing a same thing we just add a border radius here with the value with 50 Yes. Okay. Now see. Now this curve is a round shape with the fifty px. But this is not working again because we want to a total ray, a round here, a total circle here. So we are just going to add our next CSS. And after adding the all CSS, we just look for one. So I am just taking a height with the fifty pixel, and again I am just set a width with the same value with the fifty pixel again. Now it's fine. Okay, now this is a working. But see, I want my this loader at this place, not like this. So I have to apply again the another properties. So that properties are. See, I am set here a left margin as a. Forty-seven pixel here, and after that, margin from top is seven to eight pixel here. Now see. It's again just moving up. In a very small size. So what I have to do again? I have to make a changes in this the format of pixel. I am just shift it into the form of percentages. Now see. Now it's working. Our loader is coming at the middle of the page, and now we just complete our. Program first, and then finally we just visit to our browser to look a final loader. Our this property is done, but now my loader is not working. Right? So see, I am just using here a one a border as a top, and I am saying set here a ten. Excel with the value and my color again 
it is a solid and with the color I am passing one color here suppose like a red here my loader color is red now see what is happen my loader is ready now but it's not a working it's not perform any action here. now see what we have to do for that we just have to add a animation after that all css property i am just going to add animation here in the style tag again so see i am giving here a name of first of all animation uh, animation a uh, name is you have to put a animation name first so you can do anything you can write anything a name as a name for your animation so i am just choosing here uh, my animation name is a fake okay after that you have to pass a time duration my value is of 2 seconds here and then uh, my animation type now it's a linear and after linear i'm just adding a one more as a infinite linear infinite okay then see my this animation is complete here after that i have to add a keyframes a keyframes for the motions now see I am using this a keyframe and after that I have to add a name of my animation and that is a wave right and see my animation name is a wave and again I have to open bracket after my keyframe and I have to start here a writing for the rotation so my first value is from the zero percent like animation if we have to start the anything then we are just a start from the zero right and after that zero i am using again this bracket for adding the a next value and my first value is transform and then rotate and rotate from the zero degree now it's a finish for the zero percent i am done now it's turn to right when it's become as a hundred percent means uh, it's a final stage of our animation so again i have to write a same property transform and then a rotate and here we have to just pass a value as a 360 degree and now it's also completed now if i have to see a my this output here how it's working now so after doing this i'm just click on my this page now see it's a working means what our loader is successfully created here and it's properly working with the help of the animation if this is a very simple loader with the one color now you want to add a one more color or more than one color here for the same loader so you can do with the this property same property you just have to add here suppose a border i am just taking a border top here so you just write a border right or border something and i am passing the same values but i am taking a another color here so i am use here 
uh, which color I have to use suppose a green uh, this shade of uh, green color I am going to use now see we have a two color for the top and for the right so see now this color is after the red color so it's a your loader with the two colors if you want to add a more than that then you have, you just use the same properties but just change the position now you just add a border a left here with the same value stain px and you also use uh, your border style as a different your border type suppose I am using for the top and right as a solid you can also use here a dotted border see and I am passing a same color a red color here but my border style is a dotted now so now see there is a two dot rc here so like that you can apply various colors and various style here so i am just remove a left to the bottom if i am doing this so now see what is happening so it's changing its space place and again if I am adding the same things for the border left with the same value 10 px and again dotted with the green color. So see I am changing again this color. Okay, now it's a difference other than that green color, but now it's looking like so. We can create any kind of loader here with the help of our animation and with the help of a border radius and a border styles. Okay, so uh, this one is the first process. If you have to create your own loader with the help of all the CSS properties or you have also one another method to create a loader with the help of just see I am just give here a one GIF image of loader so you can also put that a ready-made G loader images on your pages so this is a one kind of a image a loader image so you can also use that image for your loader page you have to pass only the address of that image that already stored in your a similar folder nothing than that and if you want to create your own loader then you have to write a all kinds of property here for making it okay so this is very easy to create you just uh, create as your practice in your practice and use this loader in your web page so for today it's uh, enough here so we are a uh, come to our class here and we are just a meal in our next session so for today, bye-bye and take care. See, uh, before uh, come to our session, there are the various loaders are given in our syllabus. This kind of loader with the use of a uh, two sides of color then three and then four जो हमने already किया है हमारे एक ही program में 
तो आप ऐसे डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ लोडर बना सकते हो एंड यूज कर सकते हो लाइक दैट ओके सो एंजॉय योर लोडर्स बाय